Welcome to our first video where we'll discover JavaScript and understand why it is so popular. We'll first understand how JavaScript fits into the scheme of things on the web and we'll then establish its use cases. So let's begin. The World Wide Web is more than 30 years old. The internet, however, is even older. In fact, it was 1960 when ARPANET first connected Stanford to UCLA. But the reality is that the web is actually getting younger by the day as both computational power and networks get better and better. Back till the late 90s and even the early 2000s, the web was mostly made up of documents containing text and images because that was one of the original reasons for the World Wide Web. But ever since then, we've come a long way and into the age of full-blown web applications which offer all the value and power of desktop applications but from the comfort of a web browser. Your web browser is one of the grand podiums on which great products and services are built and consumed. And it has only become better, faster and stronger over the years and will continue to be so in the future. All of this boils down to HTML5 CSS3 and JavaScript, the holy trinity that defines all websites and web applications. While HTML is used for building layouts and elements such as text, images, containers, lists and other elements, CSS or cascading style sheets is used for defining the visual appearance such as the position of elements, their color, fonts and even animation. But all of this requires a brain, the logic, the interactivity that turns a document into a web application that you can use. This is what JavaScript brings to the table. It is the language that defines the web and is used for making web content interactive and data-driven and is used for dynamically manipulating the contents of web pages. And this is just the tip of it. JavaScript is the single most important programming language on the web today which is one of the reasons that you must learn it as early as possible. Well, in general, we can divide web applications and sites into two core parts. The front end is the HTML, CSS and JavaScript that come from the server but work in your web browser on your machine, giving you the user interface and other interactive features. At the other end, we have the backend, which is responsible for providing data and other resources to the application sitting in your browser, among several other things. In a nutshell, the front end and the back end are two core components in this equation. You've probably understood by now that JavaScript brings all the bells and whistles to mundane documents that work in your web browser. But did you know that JavaScript can also be used for building applications that work at the backend and on the server? Such applications can be built using something called Node.js, a JavaScript runtime environment that enables you to write JavaScript applications that run on the server. But for the purposes of this course, we'll stick to the front end and our good old web browser such as Chrome. Oh, and by the way, there is a fourth official language that your browser supports. It's called WebAssembly or WASM in short. WebAssembly applications are binary coded applications that are usually built and compiled down from C++, Rust and several other languages and are great when you have to build a number crunching, computationally expensive application. But we're talking about JavaScript, the language of the web. Now inside your web browser is a very critical piece of the puzzle, the JavaScript engine. It is the component that reads the JavaScript that you've written and compiles it down to machine code which then executes efficiently. These engines have become extremely powerful over the years. The most popular of these is V8 which is used in Google's Chrome browser. On the other hand, Firefox uses a compiler known as SpiderMonkey while Microsoft uses Chakra Core. In fact, if you think of your web browser as a car, then the JavaScript engine is akin to a car's engine. And the host environment may differ, keeping the engine intact. For instance, Node.js works on the server and incorporates Chrome's V8 engine, letting developers write brilliant server-side code. So now that you know where JavaScript sits in the grand scheme of things, it's time to go back in time to understand why and how JavaScript came to be. 
Now you know why JavaScript is so popular and significant. You can also start building advanced apps and websites using JavaScript. How? With our outcome-based immersive learning approach, we are fundamentally disrupting the way new age technologies are learned. You'll get to learn, practice, assess, gain insights on your learning, and personalize your learning journey on our easy to navigate AI powered skill building platform, Prism. Stay tuned for more such videos and explore more about how you can equip yourself with immediately demonstrable in demand skills that will help you get job ready. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos.